Why is she in the back? The vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Back seat? Oh god. Why didn't you check the back seat, you idiot? How the fuck did you not notice her? Now kick Zuki. her out. Woman, woman, you're going back hey, to the hospital. Watch out! Eyes forward, stupid. It's a rear view mirror, jackass. That's what it's there for. Mizuki climbed up to the front of the passenger seat. Listen here, you little shit. Well, I can still talk this time. Fucker. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. <laughs> Mizuki's psychological wounds have been healed by the sink. No. You, you really do <laughs> just get kind of used to it. I can tell you this from losing somebody a few months in between. It wasn't locked. I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Why don't your doors have auto locks? Fucking jackass. I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. She's not wrong. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. And how long has she been in here? She said 10 minutes. God, he is fucking stupid. Yep. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. What about you, Eyeball? How come you didn't notice? You too? I ditched the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. They're taking you back. <laughs> no, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you! I can help! How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't. Something only his daughter would know. Something only know. his very neglected daughter My would know. My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. Are you going to point out so is your mom or are you going to ignore that one? Yep. <sighs> Fine. But don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. I feel like she's going to be far less annoying than Iris. And far more bitchier. She, we can also, you know, have her beat the shit out of somebody for info. Yeah, there you go. Good cop, bad cop. If you have nothing to talk about, you don't have to say anything. Bitch. Fair enough. You're an adult, shouldn't you know that already? If you start talking about the weather, it means you have nothing to say. Okay, at this point, are you sure she's going to be better than the other one? I mean, she's not wrong. Listen here, you little shit. See, that's the problem, is Rat. it's easy when they're a smartass and they're stupid. If they're a smartass and they're right, that's the problem. Yeah. It's like, they no, get it's right more like, I off. don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. You're 12. You're 12. for a preteen to say. <laughs> Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far aware more of her physical than prowess. her classmates. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but... I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? What's the secret, kid? Boyfriend? Did you know that mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. A scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really oh. rich like that. <laughs> did this? You're in, your mom was an yep. asshole. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. 
Isn't that called I a pyramid scheme? I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot I find any reports no, referencing this. No, that's a Ponzi. I think it's a Ponzi scheme. They yeah. must have been extraordinarily careful. <laughs> Somebody in the chat goes, oh, she was involved in N NFTs. Oh, yeah. You heard about the market cool. with those? Yeah, those crashed hard, but everybody knew that was going to happen. Those people are idiots. Yeah. It not only crashed, several of them were quote-unquote stolen. Yeah. And then resold super cheap, which is fucking hilarious. Yep. You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's I'm creepy. Crazy. You should cut that out. I was talking to Aiba out loud before I noticed Mizuki in the car. That must be what she's referring to. Are you telling me she doesn't know about the eyeball? Apparently. Mizuki is still unaware I exist? Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows about Abyss. But it's just hard to explain. My eyeball Make it pop. talks. I Make won't it pop say out. yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. You know damn well if we weren't driving, that eyeball would pop out and freak her out. Yep. Probably still is gonna. It's not a proposal. No need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. <laughs> Dante, I think you should go to the hospital. Listen <laughs> <laughs> here. Oh, shit. God, it's killing me. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Dante? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Dante. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? Nope. This is why you're single and always will be. God damn. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hey, what are you implying? Ow! Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I can throw you out. I am out. not an old creepy pervert. Yes, you are. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. Hey, you started it. <laughs> Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. <laughs> This is fucking stupid. <laughs> I do like their banter more. This is so fucking stupid. Alright, at least the cops are here and it's a crime scene. They're not actually serving people. Mizuki and I walked uh, into Detective Dante. Park. Good to see you, sir. Hey there, buddy. And this is... Kid of the guy Have that you died. you through the case file yet? Oh. Oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's... Yes. Please, let us through. You all suck. It's a strong-ass hook. Renju's corpse was hung up by three wires. The wires were tied to three kegs. Each keg has a capacity of 20 liters. All three kegs were filled in approximately 55 pounds each. Would that be able to keep a guy held up like that? Uh, if he weighed under 170 pounds, then yes. Actually, no, we know, didn't find anything today. What? I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. Oh my god, I think that's the same expect inspector from the last time. Are you getting oh, enough Oh, yeah, no, let's piss him off. It's Kagami! <laughs> Kagami? <laughs> Oh, come on! Why do we get to keep doing this? I told you, it's Kagami! I told you my name like five times! This has got to be a je- Really? Is he gonna kill you? Is that an ending? That would be funny. Of course I remembered his name. His name is engraved in my mind. Why do you keep letting me do this? His name is... 
A chair. <laughs> hey, you. What's your name? Seriously? It's Kagami. Stop bugging him, it's rude. No, Excuse it's you? My best friend, uh, Kagami and I are having a conversation. Yeah, don't spoil our fun. What? I got an achievement for that. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. <sighs> no, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. Apparently, that uh, you just scream someone's name back and forth long enough, they become friends. Is it a guy thing? No. No, it's just weird. Oh, we didn't get a joke. Is that a spear? Trident. It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renji was stabbed. Except in the eye. Well, they just have an indication that the eye was removed. The capacity of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. Oh, God. Please tell me there's not a body in there. Oh, there's, there's something. Something, something behind What? It. There's something inside. I stepped up to the drum. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. The watch. This is... This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. I'm gonna step away for a moment. No doubt about it. Mm -hmm. But how did this get here? Sorry about that, guys. Let me just put this down. Alrighty, sorry about that, everybody. What I miss? Uh, nothing. They had a very quick conversation. So the watch you found was pretty obviously went Renju's watch, which you found much later on in the other timeline. Um, hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Yeah, she really hasn't looked around, to be fair. I need information now. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still. I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene? You think it's totally weird, right? Yes. In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want... To be weak. You can bend press 200 pounds, kid. Yep. How can I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. Oh my god, this is gonna piss her off. Jeez, you're pushy. Yes. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Besides, Ouch. Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. Really? There's a security camera. I know, I'll get that You're in Nothing a special. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. 
Well, that's not good. Hey, are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. She's still seeing it in her head. The corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. Oh, I didn't need to know no that. No traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. So because you couldn't find <laughs> shit on the ground? <laughs> it must have been oh, considerably God. difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Iba, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. I recorded it. Do you want to look at it again, Dante? Wait the autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. He has a mark on his neck. He was hung. Yeah, you're right. He was strangled? There are deep impressions left on his neck. Strangulation? Correct. Okay. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renju was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. Somebody was definitely making a message here. Left eye had been pulled this out. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Ow. He barely conscious before he was killed. The right eye is still there. Hmm. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this. But you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints. That is, um... That is one hell of a way to kill someone, I guess, or to hang someone up, I guess. So what it seems like is he was strangled somewhere else, and then they put his body in that drum because that's where we found his watch. And then they brought him here in the drum so nobody would see him, and they hung him up in here. Yeah. He was strangled by a cloth or something similar from behind. Do we have anything else? Do we have something else? Check down, I guess, near his shirt, maybe? Or... No, it doesn't let you. Uh, no, I guess you could just go back into it, I guess. Whatever reason. He was definitely murdered somewhere else than carried here. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? Hmm. What else is there in the room? 
That's what I'm wondering. Let's see. Where'd your, oh, I was going to say, where'd your really cool He went all the way to the side for some darn reason. Does that every so often. Because my mouse, I'm not touching my mouse, so it's not because of my mouse. Doesn't like there's anything else in there. You can see the kitchen back there. Nothing looks suspicious. What if you can you move further to the left at all? Inside the wooden box, there's nothing in there. But we can't move around. No, no, no. I mean, like, just panning. How far can you? Here we go. Trident doesn't look like anything to do with the case. Evidence markers. It's a little marker. Yep. I was actually gonna. I was actually asking that question when you were gone. Why does it say one B and X? Isn't it usually one two three? Might be the angles. I don't know. I don't know how they do it in Japan, but I'm wondering if they're doing it for like the angle thing because there's one over there too. So it might be the different angles. Maybe or they're for just the forensics us. to figure out, like because they probably didn't move this at all. So they have to figure out from the angle. And how he was hung, type of thing. Can you pan, can you pan up to the ceiling where the hanger was? No. Yeah, no. I've been trying to actually click that thing for a while. I feel like I'm missing something here. If somebody comes back. What did I miss? And somebody else goes a dead body. You kids want to see a dead body? It's been running through my mind every time. Yeah, no, we got this. So I don't know why it's still lit up lit up. Uh, picture. What are you staring at? Girls. Creeper. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Fuck you, eyeball. Th that's the literal face he just gave. Club is located on the second floor of the building. We use the elevator to get here. Iba, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? Well, we aren't done investigating. Yes, we are. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. No, no, no. We're getting the fuck out of here, kid. Who does she want to talk to? Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. We gonna mention how he left her there or no? Well, there no. is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Mama. Yeah. Daddy owned Lemniscate and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. I don't think she ever mentioned that she used to work here. Yeah, she did. It was like a really quick in passing thing. She didn't mention uh, it, the uh, mermaid did. I don't remember if the mermaid had a name. I don't. Didn't they, didn't they jokingly like what Have any idea area? where she might be? I, a joke. I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Bow chicka bow wow? 
Remember Iris? Yeah, Lemnus Gate, okay. Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. You okay. Want, you want to do them all in order? It is up to you. Chat, we're going to go in order. All right, let's go talk to Oda. Wee! Let's go talk resist. to a creepy stalker. Yeah. So real quick, thank you to everyone who's been subbing tonight. You guys are all awesome. Let's try to hit that goal for this week, month so that we can help poor little... Hello, me. welcome. You're Mizuki, right? Oh, this crazy goose, friend. right? Yep. She looks like she should and be in a Miyazaki you... film. Doesn't she? Uh, kind of, yeah. Because she's kind of got like the color and with the glasses and the hat and everything. Hmm. Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. My name is Kaname Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? I'm looking for your creepy the, ass, son. What does that actually mean in Japanese, the word Date? Is there like a meaning to it? Two seconds. I was just curious. So am I, that's why I'm looking. Date. Date means Date. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't have a meaning. They made up a name. I completely forgot. I wonder where he got off to. But he'll come back soon. He always does. Runs off, then comes back. I'm beginning to have doubts about the management of this establishment. I as well. He's off stalking a chick. Yep. Oh, stop, you charmer. No. But you're no, not I'm not trying to do that. Out of me. I knew you were a pedo, Date, but I didn't think you were a cougar hunter, too. Listen here, you little shit. <laughs> the fact that you know what that is. <laughs> I am neither of those things. Well, probably the latter. I will, I mean, I will the, send the you bosses. home to your non-existent fucking parents. Well, the but. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that that's not a good idea. She lives with us. Not for long. It's called an eviction notice. Yep. How much rent have you paid, kid? None? Oh, well, get the fuck out. Oh, everything here is delicious. Yeah, I never but my personal that. favorite is our omelet rice. Did you want to eat here? No, I don't have much of an appetite. How's your stomach? Same. I don't think I can eat right now. Every game, it's always omelet rice. He went out early this morning. I don't know where. I see. <laughs> Is he dead, too? We could hope. Sorry to be a bother, but when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh, well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, got it. Date, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, that was painless. All right, Levis Gates. Now we're going to go see the psycho again. No. Brain tumor might stop us, stop her this time. Assuming she still has it in this version. Maybe we just won't run into her. Possible. Where's Big Titty Assistant? Oh, there what? There hey is. there, handsome. Excuse me? I cannot even right now. Hold on, drunk? give me just one sec. <laughs> I was about to say, this voice actress is doing like the... Oh my god, but like a hundred times after alcohol. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? Fuck yeah. She is okay, I'm cool with this. Professional for a receptionist. Fuck yeah. Come no, she's just a receptionist that knows how to stay bad. being a receptionist. Could you contain yourself for five minutes, Date? No. 
Hey, tits. Yep. Ota? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? The receptionist knows Ota, too? He's probably dead. Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. Those no, ones you have doesn't. to watch out for. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. Oh, you just gave her your Took number. Took out my business card and handed it over to the receptionist with a huge smile on my face. Yeah, I got his number. I got his number. This is turning into the best fucking timeline. <laughs> she was like not well, even interested into us last time. A little bit, yeah. But here's the well. I think the other time too is I think she uh, she thought that we were with Iris for some reason because of oh the yeah, because Iris threw think, herself at us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the the other thing too is uh, I would assume that the further we progress down this version of the timeline, eventually we'll unlock the continuation of the other timeline. Because when we went on the other side, we did find an ending. But if you go the opposite route, the one where we found Iris dead before, that was apparent. That one apparently can go on if certain information is present. We gonna bang the receptionist? I hope so. Let us pray that the privilege oh. will not be abused. By the way, I recorded that game that I showed you in Arch. Which one? The pirate one. Oh god. It's so fucking boringly bad. <laughs> I mean, it's wonderful! God, I hope that video is long enough. Yeah, totally! You never think about, like, my boss getting murdered, you know? Like, what are even the chances? I, 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 That's like... You're saying that in front of the, the child of the person who I was, was murdered. I was lucky, in a weird way. Some of my old friends hit me up asking oh, about it, Oh, did you just it, see you her know? head twitch? Feels mm -hmm. like we're old alumni or something. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. Date, don't bang her. She's gonna be crazy. Nope, that's when you hit it and quit it. That's gonna be that quit it that chases. You're a police officer. It's called the cease and desist that exists. It's much easier for you to get. <laughs> this is true. This isn't gonna turn into a Glenn Close fatal attraction situation. Don't boil a bunny. Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? <laughs> For sure? As in, I got you? I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. She's from California. Seems that way. The plastic surgery oh, definitely I haven't is. heard anything about that yet. The VP might take over. We might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job, too. Man. What am I going to do if this place closes up? Porn. So, yep. anyway, tell me, Date, what kind of girls do you like? Ones with giant Because you. I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Hmm? Well, I... I... We could go out sometime. Wow, dude. <laughs> what the you fuck did he do? You disgust oh, me. My apologies. Never mind. What? The fuck? He... Can you keep talking to her? What the fuck? Screw you, eyeball, and screw you, midget. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it. Damn it, I can't hit it. God damn Damn it, I got caught blocked by a 12 year old. Oh wow, I just said that. Yep. <laughs> so. Shut up! Let me have my moment of shame. Alright. Why does my, my thing keep going off like that? That is really weird. I don't know. That's why I was about to ask is where'd the reticle go? <laughs> it does that if I leave it alone after a few seconds. Maybe it's just a. Uh, I mean, thing yeah, with the game? but. Maybe. Yeah, of course we know each other. We're like best friends. <laughs> she was totally bad. We hang out, we party. We do not party. Hey! We do not party. <laughs> we do not party. She she is very done with the secretary. <laughs> yeah. That's the one you know was banging the boss. 
Well, yeah, obviously. Look at how she's dressed. She was definitely banging somebody. Let's go. Office. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah. Where should we go you, next? You don't half undress and go to work without expecting to take the rest off at some point. I mean, right. it is a modeling place, so they'd probably have to dress as sexy as possible. Is, is it a modeling place? Because they have, like, streamers and stuff that are going in there to do stuff, so... It's like everything. Technically a modeling agency. Somebody just... Somebody said, I don't blame the boss.